Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever back in the Alps. Uh, we're very close to the end of the series now and, uh, and we're starting today uh, looking at Wolfenschießen. I, I, I couldn't tell you why, I, I just liked it uh, as, a, as a look. Um, so, so this is where we're starting. And there's a, there's a lumber train coming through. Actually, a quite a well-loaded lumber train at that. Uh, no, uh, completely loaded lumber train. That's even better. Um, yes, so, uh, yeah, as I was mentioned, we're coming up on the end of the series. And uh, before we crack on to new things, we've, we've got just one or two more bits to, uh, to, to kind of lock down here. Uh, and as mentioned, oh yeah, frame rate's flipping lousy, but then I haven't, I'd say I've, I've, I've been completely lazy and I haven't bothered loading in the whole map. Uh, for, the, for those of you who don't know, uh, the, the sensible thing to do if you're recording this stuff, uh, particularly at the late game, is to do a quick swoop around the map before you get going so that, uh, so that your PC there has had a chance to kind of think things through and go, oh yes, yes, that's, that's what's over there. Uh, anywho, uh, here we are at Biasca. Uh, which is where we're going to be focusing again today, uh, because uh, we've got uh, some routes to, uh, well, we've got one route to finish up, and I have to figure out where to take it. Uh, if we call up all the, uh, the routes list here, you will see we have one platform remaining available. Uh, and then once I've done that, I shall reorganize this, uh, this bird's nest of, of track uh, junctioning that we've got going on. Um, but before we talk about what's happening today, uh, allow me to, uh, to keep you occupied just momentarily with this brief, important message. There you go. Uh, do let me know in the comments if that was too subtle in any fashion at all. Uh, I, I, you know, I, hopefully you all you all picked up on the on the uh, the core message going on there. Uh, anyway, the goal is going to be to go from Biasca, and I've had a look around at, at potential locations to take another route, but we are hitting just about everywhere already. Uh, but we'll go out of Biasca this way, uh, and then we're going to cut through this mountain over here. See, I've got a billion in the bank. Yeah, I won't be there for long. Uh, and then we'll continue cutting through the mountains with a nice bit of excitable mountain pass type behavior uh, before ending up in, uh, in Fruity here, in Frutigan. Uh, right there. Now, I may, from here, go on to Kandersteg. I might. It's the kind of thing that I might do. Uh, equally, given that Frutigan is, in fact, a terminal, uh, but it does have plenty, it's not a terminal. All right, all right, ignore I said that. Uh, and then, possibly, possibly, uh, so I'll go to Kandersteg and maybe loop round to Inner Kirschen, Inert Kirschen, maybe, uh, for a, a non explosive Kirschen, um, maybe even hitting Engelberg. Well, why not? And if I'm going to go to Engelberg, well, obviously you might as well you might as well head up to Wolfenschiessen, because that would then also make some kind of sense out of your your opening to this video. Well, there you go. That's the goal. Uh, stick around. Let's see if we can pull it off. Right then, the the, the trickiest part of this particular mission is going to be uh, the 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 hook up to Frutigan in the first instance. Now. In my wisdom, I, uh, I connected up three tracks here, so uh, so going uh, two ways in and out of here is, is possibly a good idea. Now, uh, the, the other thing that I haven't given any consideration to is what, co what sort of train I'm going to run. Um, perhaps we ought to look at that first. No, let's not look at that first. Let's just get on with this. Uh, right, we're going to go straight through here, like that. Uh, if, uh, if any buildings are about to, uh, about to go bye-bye, uh, go Regrettably, uh, so be it. Uh, there we go. Now, as you can tell, the, the one route... And let's have a quick look before this guy disappears out of view. The one route we've got at the moment is... Uh, uh, is well, it's, it's not very well true. I mean, it's, it's travelling on single-track, old-school rail, uh, just heading to Interlaken. I mean, it's packing in passengers, but, uh, but, it's, but it's not having the, the best of time as far as... Uh, uh, 
as, as far as love, care and attention uh, is concerned. Right, let's high speed this up and add some electrification. Yes, please. Platform roofing, yes or no? Oh, I don't think we've gone for one with no. Yeah, let's make them stand in the, the, the snow and or rain and or other elements. Oh, well, that was exciting. Oh, there you are. Yeah, that's crashed. Okay, clearly that's a button I don't press very often um, uh, because it crashes the game. Uh, and, uh, and as you may or may not detect, uh, we're now back uh, pretty much where we started. The good news is I haven't built anything yet. Uh, so uh, so let's, let's immediately get back into action. Oh, you know what else I haven't done? Yeah, I haven't. I, <laughs> yeah, I should have should have perhaps given the uh, given the PC a moment there to to load the map in. But hey, no, let's just get on with it. Uh, right over to Frutigan. There we go. Now then, uh, let's upgrade this station again and see if it do if it breaks again. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be um, well, I'm gonna be loading it again. Uh, let's do one step at a time. Apply that, and it's broken again. The station's broken. Right, okay, second crash. Good show. Excellent. That's that's what we came to see. Well, I hope you guys like the lumber train, because here it is again. Um, yes, it turns out that it's not that button in particular that is the problem with Frutigan. Uh, it, is, uh, it is the station itself, so maybe if I bulldoze it, uh, we'll be able to fix it. Of course, if I bulldoze it, there's a very real chance... Uh, that uh, that the game will crash anyway, but but that'll be exciting, won't it? Uh, right, let's uh, turn some of this stuff off. Obviously, I've not loaded the map in properly again, because uh, you know that's that's what we in the trade call a running joke at this point. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, that the game crashing isn't about to become a running joke as well, because that's not the kind of joke that I will find amusing. Uh, so yeah, what it's telling me is that terminals are not properly connected. I don't know what that means. Uh, what I do know is that it crashes the ruddy game. Uh, so let's pause here. And then let's get rid of this bit of track. Uh, and then... Have I done the bombastic intro? See, I forget now because, uh, because I've been at this for a bit. Uh, let's say that I have. Brace yourselves. Yeah. Okay, good. That didn't break everything. That's, that's, that's good. Uh, right, well, we can now put in another station at least. Uh, that's that's something. Uh, oh, have we got modern stationing available now? Let's, let's go all the way down here. What are you? This is Kanshi's modern station. Well, it's an opportunity, isn't it? And that's an elevated train station. We don't want an elevated train station. Let's go to Kanshi's modern station. Hello. Oh, flipping. Oh, no. Ooh, crikey. Um, uh, it is modern, isn't it? Uh, right, okay, we've got our four tracks on this one. All right, uh, we'll make it high speed. Right, now, uh, I'm sorry, people of Frutigan, there is, uh, there's about to be quite the disaster applied to your town because uh, uh, I'd quite like to uh, affix this modern station to proceedings. Uh, when you say quite the disaster, we're talking about 17 buildings. Now, the, the cost is not a bother because, uh, you know, I've got a billion quid. Um, but... Uh, Oh, and that, that bridge is likely to be uh, in the firing line as well. I think we might get through there. But we're going to need to do some uh, some remodelling. Well, this was supposed to be the easy bit, uh, but it isn't, obviously. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you built it all once there, townsfolk. You can build it again. And, of course, you can't take out just one bit. You need to take out the roads as well. If I take that out, oh, that's a that's a pricey one, and actually, it's not the price that that is uh, that is irking me uh, at this stage. It is the fact that I'm I'm unhousing so many people. Uh, yeah, go on, get it done. Let's get the station in, and then then we can then we can rebuild, and we're still taking out some more buildings. Well, good for us. Terrain alignment collision. There really shouldn't be. I've given you enough terrain to align. To, uh, there's a bit of road there. Look. Uh, what now? Can I get it far enough? I can get... No, I can't. Yes, I can. Victory is ours. Right. Well, uh, what we've ended up here is... Uh, I, actually, this was well pr worth the price of admission, and the price of admission was pretty steep. Um, that's... That's brilliant. Oh, well done. Uh, hang on, what's his name? I'm going to give proper credit for this one. Can she? Uh... Epic, 
Well, oh, it's lovely. Uh, oh, that's that's fabulous, that is. Now, we're going to need to come through here if we're going to go out as far as, as Kandersteg and then work our way round. Because uh, I'm thinking we go out to Kandersteg and then round through Gadmen and, uh, and in at Kirschen and then maybe Engelberg as well to do some kind of, you know, languid loop here. Uh, and then, actually, what would make more sense from, from Engelberg is if we were to come down, get back on the main line uh, to hit up Sarnen. Hang on, we've, we've, we've even got... No, that's just a, that's just a depot junction. Uh, yeah, okay, that could work. Uh, and then, then ah, dee, ooh, that's the type of route I've not done yet this series. Uh, I could run a, uh, a backs up on itself, uh, kind of figure eight loop kind of deal. Kind of thing. All right, that is uh, that is the, the newly revised and activated plan, TM. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Right, meanwhile, let's, uh, let's, let's make room for this to happen. Uh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, the townsfolk. I'm like, oh, oh, that was an expensive one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's so much for progress. Um, good. Now then, now we, we want to we want to crack on here because uh, uh, you know we've we've now eliminated quite a lot of time. Um, right. Okay. First off, let's uh, let's whack out some track. Give the give give some some track a whack here. Now, if we want to bend this one this way a little bit, because then it can uh, it can form the backbone of the uh, the Interlaken Frutigen uh, Misery Express. Hang on. Bang. Well, there you go. That's that's done. That uh, we might have to go either side of this bridge pillar. I mean, I could put the bridge back in, but actually, I quite like going either side of a pillar. It's uh, you know, it, it makes it makes a bit a bit of a difference, right? Keep it on the same level. Now right, we might uh, we might end up with a terrain alignment collision here. We didn't. No, no, we did not uh, arrive at any kind of a terrain alignment. Anything. Uh, and then we'll get out as far as there. We'll probably get out a little bit further than that. But we want to start thinking uh, in terms of where the heck are we going? So we're coming from Biasca, which is chuffing miles away, uh, and then we're gonna, well, we're gonna we're gonna do something over the, like this. So if I if I start here, right, how does that feel as far as as far as your pointing is concerned? I don't want to do a mammoth uh, a mammoth suspension bridge of some description because you know none of us like those. Um, I've built quite enough roller coasters in this series. We don't need any more. Uh, let's see if we can go straight through here and come out the other side at a reasonable level. Yeah, you see, look, there we go. We're, we're already... Uh, yeah, and then we're going to have to go up quite a bit as well. But I don't, I don't want the bridging. So we'll just have to see if this works. Because that's coming out. Now, see, that's still going downhill. Uh, okay, contour time. There we go. As much as it makes the map hideous to look at, uh, contours show that we've got a fair bit more downhill to go. Let's, uh, let's have a look and see how bad this gets. Actually, I have seen worse. And the thing is, that's, but that's going downhill the entire distance, uh, which is not going to... Uh, that's not going to cut it. Now, we've got Grindelwald over there. Which has also not been uh, not been visited. I mean, that's that's well off the uh, well off the beaten track though. But uh, Frutigen itself is right the way through this mountain, so I think this is going to have to be another curvaceous mountain pass, which is which is actually a bit disappointing because uh, it means that we're going to be losing uh, rather a lot of profit along the way. Uh, obviously, the, the the longer your your route takes to get uh, from A to B, the uh, the less money you make out of it. And I don't want to slow down that much either, so we might need to might need to back up some. Let's back up some. Back up that much. Or well or or less than that. There we go. That that'll pro that'll probably do it. Let's try that. 
103. No, we need faster than that. I need about, yeah, 160 will be okay. I, I can I can live with that as a, as a notion. And I'm also happy to do a, a suspension bridge that is... Uh, that is relatively short, even if it does have a roller coaster esque tendencies. Right. Okay. We've we've re-established re re the surface there. So I think you know, just a quick hop across this gap might be okay. Now let's leave that there. Again, the, the speed is not brilliant, but what we want to start thinking about here is is. Uh, is how are we going to connect up to uh, to Frutigen itself? Now, I don't know if we want to go uphill. I don't know if we want to go downhill. Let's just uh, let's just put a connection in about there. Right? I'm, I'm not going to use this one. I just want to get a quick measure of the thing. Right? Where did I leave it? Oh, that's Lucano. That's that's not where we are at all. Uh, grab the grab the handle here. Where's it? Where where have we gone? Please don't try and snap to this road as we go past. There it is. Right. Right. Brace for ugly. Right then. Okay. Let's. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There. 127 million. Now, what do we get for that? It's going to be more than that. Uh, let's uh, let's put in something speedy. Actually, I don't want. I don't want that one. I want something a bit more. Uh, I mean, we, we haven't used the red one in a little bit. What else have we got to choose from? Oh, that's nice. No, I like this one. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, what's the what's the cost you got there? Two hundred and twelve million. So here is the aforementioned uh, roller coaster across this this gulf. That's about as long as I'm prepared to accept. It is still longer than is than is uh, happy. And we do all of this underground, which is a shame. Could have skirted round there. And then we end up over here with a very sharp turn coming into the station. Okay, well, it's not it's not dreadful, but I think we can do better. Let's, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, you're used to me accepting the first answer I've been given. Uh, not today. Uh, today we're we're going to accept the second answer, which is going to look very much like the first answer. Um, as soon as we uh, as soon as we get this, how I like it. So let's let's go like that and then level it off. Level it level it off. So we we, we will apply a, a tunnel here. Because what I want to do is I want to break the surface at some point, maybe about here-ish. I've, I've now got quite a long way ahead of me track. There we go. Where do you feel like breaking the surface then? Oh, I'm out about there. Okay, well, look, I mean, that would be grand uh, if if we could make the connection. I'm not sure I've, I've reached the, a suitable altitude here, though. But there we are. We're, we're, we're topside again, and I want to be topside for a bit because, you know, we, we want to appreciate the view. Um, as was mentioned in the last uh, full episode that we did, uh, I've had enough of underground stations. I, I find them to be tiresome. Uh, not least of all because you can't really interact with them properly. Uh, right, okay, let's see what we get now. Right, hello there. Okay, so now we've got our wiggle going that way. Let's make sure that we can... Uh, is that the right one? That's the right one. This is just in case we like it, of course. Uh, then we uh, we emerge dramatically for a for a quick blast along the country uh, along the side of the mountain uh, before heading back into the tunnel. That's good. It's also good for for health and safety purposes as well. You know, in case uh, in case everything goes awry and uh, and that we need to rescue people out of the tunnel, as is so often the case. So uh, there we go. Now, what have we done here, viaduct wise? It's still not great, but it's it's a short enough distance that it feels semi-plausible. And uh, if uh, if you were to describe my builds in any way at all, semi-plausible would be uh, certainly a word you could use. Uh, it's a couple of words. It could be a phrase that you would use charitably. Don't really know what I'm talking about. Let's crack on. Uh, there we go, round that corner. Okay, good. Now, the other thing that I want to do with this, and it's going to be uh, expensive, 
uh, as much as my network is still making uh, a, a nice a nice chunk of change uh, on an annual basis, I have eroded some of it. Uh, before putting the, uh, the the choose your own adventure together, I added a third uh, a third intercity onto the uh, onto the riverbank hyper route. So obviously that is now that's now throwing money away like there's no tomorrow. Um, but it just felt like there was there was too much of a weight in between each one. Now, if I could hook up one of those stations, have I distracted myself here? Maybe just slightly, but let's carry on talking. Um, uh, yeah, if I were to connect up one of those uh, stations that are only served by the hyper route, if I were to connect that up to another line of some kind, then there is the chance that crossover traffic on there would make for a bit more demand. Uh, I appear to have blown through a quarter of a billion on this project so far, uh, including the, the bulldozing of, of Frutigan. So, uh, so we better hope that this comes off, hadn't we? There we go. And uh, that's that kind of connected. You say kind of connected, that's that connected. There's no kind of about it. That's that job done, mission complete. All right, good. Right, well, that's... Uh, no, we haven't connected up the Asker, so uh, cease your celebrations, for they are premature. All right, now we connect onto that. We'll double track down here. Now I'll probably also uh, run up to uh, up to the up to the next station up, which uh, which it name escapes me presently. Uh, Gadwell, Urgad, uh, Gadista, Kandestek. There you go. The I knew was, I was pretty close there. Um, just to make a little bit more sense of the uh, the Frutigan Interlaken line. Uh, plus I can stick another train on it at that point, and uh, and that'll make things happy. Uh, Let's uh, let's continue with our uh, our jaunt here. We haven't got a rail crossing going on there. That's pretty that's pretty dramatic. Uh, right, upgrade. There we go. We're going to bring this screaming into the modern era. Uh, it's two thousand and one, incidentally. Uh, yes, I did. I did not revert back after recording uh, every uh, every destination on the. Uh, on the network, uh, I uh, I left that in uh, intact. There you go. Do a bit of this and a bit of that, uh, and then trot on. There we go. Oh, what now? What are you worried about? There you go. You see, you don't, every time the game you know hangs for for half a second at this stage of proceedings, you just kind of go, oh no, I've crashed it again, because um, it has. It we, we have now. I mean, you know milked the uh, the entire goodness out of the uh, out of the series and uh, the game's now starting to get a little bit cantankerous with me right now I've taken that into another platform which uh, which would indicate that maybe I want to take it somewhere else why have I got this uh, un upgraded unelectrified segment here let's uh, let's get the whole thing done. So there you go. See, look, I mean, that's the other thing that you benefit from by by adding the uh, the addition. It's like the narratives are suddenly tied together. I have unwittingly created something that actually works. Um, yeah, having a two intercities means they get a pass each other, which is kind of cool. Now then, where could I take you to? I wonder. Not that I should be at this point, because we've we've got something we should be getting on with. We could get to in at Kirshen and then Gadman and bring it round that way, and then you've got a loop. Oh, do you really want to do that? Because the other thing that we're doing, because you're going through Sarnan in the other direction, because I decided that was a good idea. That I don't know why, but I've I, I seem to have decided to uh, to take on a, a really quite lengthy and uh, an extensive project for for this uh, late stage of the game. So be it. Uh, right, let's crack on then, and and, and we'll uh, we'll let the chips chips form where they may uh, as we go. Um, as a mental note, the Interlark and Frutigan line is is improperly set up at this time, but uh, we can resolve that now. What's going to be the best way to go here? I think if we if we stick a station out here somewhere, uh, my you know my my instinct would be to to go closer to the centre of town. But if we stick one out here. We could potentially hook up alongside the existing uh, mountain route, rail route that we've got, uh, and then emerge uh, Phoenix-like uh, to, to hit up in at Kirshen. The alternative, because we have mentioned Gadman a couple of times, would be to carry straight on, 
try and squeak. I mean, basically, you're going to bulldoze the whole of Gadman. I mean, the AI has had a crack at, at trying to get people to build, live in here. It's built up a bunch of roads, and then there's no room for any houses. Uh, ooh, um, no, if we're going to do this, let's uh, let's let's go crazy. Uh, you know, that that was uh, that's a that's a thing. So, how, put the station in first. All right. Okay, station. Right. We haven't got room for Kanshi's modern station here. Uh, not that we're going to use it again immediately, you understand. We'll use it again in a minute. Uh, but not just yet. Surface plants to train station. We'll make it we'll make it nice and nice and modern. 240. Uh, right. Where are you going to live? Where you are able to align the terrain. How about there? Now that's gonna no, that's gonna make for problems trying to get. Uh, uh, okay, right. Well, we make two platforms, right? We, we high speed it. We add electrification, which we've done. Uh, we'll go for a second street connection, and we'll do some curvy, like this, and then we'll stick it on the corner up here. Now this limits my options when it comes to getting past the goods line. Maybe you should, maybe you should do that first. Oh yeah, okay, that's a thought. Right. So here's a goods line. Uh, that's all station all the time. Now there's Gadman. Is that on the same elevation? Well, let's let's find out, shall we? Uh, let's just whack a bit of bit, bit of line through there. There it is, top side again. So Gadman is a little lower down than uh, than this segment here. Oh, which makes my my plan to use a, a a swifty bridge to get over the get out. Oh, we could come out like that. See, that's quite funky. All right, okay. We're well. We're always ones to go for for quite funky as a as a solution. So there we are. We'll, we'll take that as a as a. This is how we're going to do it. But it doesn't work. There you go. Oh, ye of no faith at all. Uh, I bet it doesn't work. Right, so if we if we manage to land ourselves in there somewhere. You know, this one billion quid that I've been sat on is not going to last very long. Too much slope. Man, eh, nuts. Okay, right. That's how much we're off by. The, the, that amount is best described as significant. We are off by a significant amount. Uh, which is a real shame because I, I quite like this uh, this emergence uh, as a as a thing. All right. Well, we can we're, we're going to need to move the station. I know the the, the track is the cheaper thing to move, but uh, but we're going to move the station. We'll uh, we'll keep coming around here until uh, we hit ground level, and then we'll uh, we'll try uh, we'll try a little bit of terrain manipulation. To uh, to achieve our goals, because if I did if I do what I've been kind of implying uh, in the uh, in the so far, uh, then we will we will end up running two separate lines across here. In fact, possibly three if I decide to run a clockwise and an anti-clockwise route. Um, I think I won't. What I'll probably do is I won't run one route that basically figure eights on itself, uh, and. Uh, uh, and run double the number of trains. Uh, right, let's make this big. There we go. Okay, if there's one thing Planet Coaster has that uh, that this uh, this magnificent game doesn't, it's uh, it's a broader selection of terrainifying tools. Actually, they're, they're closer to to the way it's, uh, City Skylines gives you options uh, in terms of actually, you know, monkeying with elevations and flattening things out to uh, to meet the same elevation. Right now, at some point, I'm going to need a steepish, a, a tightish corner here. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. I'm going to have to play with the uh, th the station that changes elevation, aren't I? You know, I've been ducking it for seventy some odd episodes. Okay, right. If I try and snap that onto there, how does it feel about things? It feels really quite wretched about them. Okay, well here we go. Uh, right, what do we got here? Surface passenger no, terminal for no, uh, no. Uh, where's the where the, here we go? Sloped station. 
Now then, which is the... See, because you look at it and you kind of go, well, that's, that's flat. That's because your slope is 0%. All right, make the slope outrageous. Actually, that's, that's working. Uh, altitude adjustment multiple. Sure, I'm sure that means something. Okay, well, it's worked. Now, we are a little more distant from the town than I might have liked, uh, but it's that, that is still accomplishing the main goal of having a station here. Now, that bit of road's quite high up, which is going to present a challenge of some description. Did, I, did you even check to see if that was the right length? The answer there is no, I didn't. Uh, right, what have we got? We've got 240, which is what I wanted. We've got two tracks, which is also what I wanted. You have, uh, you've got no room to complain. Because that's what you asked for. All right, grand. Um, right, now that all we've got to do with that is get it down to Fruity. Come on, Fruity. Let's be having you. Right, we're going down all the way. We're going to... And I don't want to I don't want to roller coaster this. We're going to need to roller coaster a little bit. But I'll, uh, I'll try and run it alongside the mountain uh, so that we get a nice mountain pass effect. And we will use the alternate... Uh, the alternate German... Uh, whatever that's called. Viaduct. Uh for this. There we go. Right. Nothing like a major building project to round out your series, I've always felt. Uh, you know, you've got money to chuck at dogs. You might as well uh, you, you might as well have it. Right, now then. When you come in a fruity, we could we've just been we've we've been speaking of this. I, I hope you were paying attention. Um, we've got two lines uh, here potential uh that turn into one so we're going to make this a, a big old a big old merger of some description now how am i going to do that i'm sure there is a way that i could do this cleverly all right if we eyeball it at this point right and we put that in there right like that so that, that, what I'm aiming for here is to be kind of flush with the... It's maybe a little too far over to the right, but, you know, it's it's near enough. Right, and then we'll stick two in there. I could have used ballast for that middle bit, couldn't I? Uh, and then we'll line those up here, like this. Yeah, it is. It was a little too far over to the right. My eyeballs did not deceive me. We've also got a, we've got a lump there. Is that a lump or is that a kink? Yes. All right. Uh, well, tell me what you tell me what you're thinking here. Well, what you're thinking is we're going to bulldoze all of this, all right? We'll try again. It was a it was a novel idea, but uh, but the ground was not supportive of uh, of what you were trying to achieve. So if I lower this just ever so slightly, right, and then we flatten it ever so dramatically. You've, you've raised the you've raised the altitude again. I'm sure that, that, that there is undoubtedly many easier ways that I could be doing this, but uh, I'm not doing it that way. I'm doing it this way. All right, there we go. If anything, this time it looks like we're a little too far over to the left. But hey ho, uh, right. Yeah, you managed to you managed to max speed that pretty much. There we go. Actually, you've managed to max speed that side as well. So let's say that that's perfect. And as a result, basically what you've done there is you've just built two straight pieces of track. Well done. Uh, you must be jolly pleased with yourself. Uh, and then we'll run this one over here. As far as it will go. And then we'll run this one over here as far as it will go. Like that. Which is just slightly slower, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll run these as a as an up and a down or some such. Uh, we'll need a crossover in between the two, uh, but uh, if we if we meet up on the corner over here, we can uh, we can get something going. Uh, right, we're going to need to uh, get this lot out of the way, or are we? Because that's going to depend on whether we're going under or over, I suppose. Well, it's it's under or through. Right, here we go. Let's, uh, and onto there. Right, terrain alignment collision, general collision, four buildings will be removed. This is, this is my kind of action. 
Uh, right, so you've got your tunnel, which is only colliding because it's got this these townsfolk who uh, persistently get in the way. Brace yourself, you are setting yourself up for, a, for an underground attempted crossover. Get rid of the whole thing. There you go. And we know how well they like to work out. Pro tip, they don't like to work out well at all. There you go, take that. Okay, right, yep. And uh, and lo and behold, we are now out the other side of the tunnel. Grand. And we'll do a... Actually, if we come this far... I, want to, I don't want to do my crossover in the tunnel because that would be hideous. Uh, so we'll... We'll do that instead. Still leaves you 200 miles an hour. Uh, kilometers per hour. 200 kilometers per hour worth of, of maneuvering speed. One side gets to go straight, the other side not quite so much. But uh, that, that's not an unpleasant station approach. It's uh, It could have been better, but isn't. Uh, right, well, actually, well, I've still got a little bit of space. Can we add a second, uh, a second street connection there without upsetting everyone? Yes, we can. There we go. I had a moment there where I thought it was going to crash the game again. But it didn't. Uh, right, okay, there we go. So that's Candish Deg now added on. Uh, the next challenge we hear is, uh, is Gadman. And that really is a challenge. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've, I've got all this money. Uh, let's see what we can do with it. Let's see where we, let's see where we pop back out again. We actually pop back out in not a terrible place, although it's going to make getting down to in at Kirshen pretty tricky. Uh, although we could put the in at Kirshen station about there. That could work. Uh, actually, there's almost no chance that that works. We're going to be too high up here for a, for a station, I think. All right, I'm going to try a different approach this time. What we're going to do is we're going to go straight for a station over here at in at Kirshen, uh, which I'll put halfway up the slope. And then, uh, and then I'll see if I can remove a little bit of the track in the middle to uh, to bang in another station to service Gadman. Now it's going to need some kind of uh, aerial taxi surface. Surface? It's not really the right word, is it? Service. Um, but uh, yeah, all right. Well, that's that's going to be worth a go. Uh, right. Okay. Well. That, you know, I, I don't know what to title this episode yet. I always start to think about what I might title an episode when I'm kind of midway through one. And I think it's like uh, maybe something along the lines of the project that spirals hideously out of control very quickly. That's not really going to fit on a thumbnail. Um, whoops, have you seen my billion dollars? Uh, see, that's, that's catchy. Uh, either of those might work. Now, I want this lower down. There is something you can do to make stations lower. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain of it. Uh, not for the not for the station itself per se, uh, more for the uh, more for the road connection because I'm going to have a hell of a time connecting that up to anything. Committed. So I mean that's a that's a bit of an evil can evil exit from the station you've got there. Now I've got this bit of road that I can get out of the way so I could do a kind of a windy plunk onto there and, and maybe that would work. Uh right, okay, well are we just gonna go point A to point B? Are we gonna is that what we're gonna, gonna try here? I guess so. Right, here we go. Brace yourselves. I I possibly ought to save the game. I'm saying that out loud because that will make it hilarious if this sucker crashes in about five seconds. All right, too much slope. Where are you describing the slope as too much other than, you know, all of it? Because usually it will show you where it's put a ramp in things in order to make it work. The slope doesn't look too dramatic. Now I realise we are coming downhill there. Where are you having slope-based issues? Uh, and construction isn't possible. Well, okay, fair enough. Tricky, uh, but not, at the end of the day, impossible. It hasn't said, you are never building here. 
we will not allow it. All right, so maybe we have to go round the outside of Gadman, hang a 90-degree turn at the top end, and then get something working. I don't know. I, you know, I just, I'm just making this up. You know, you know, I've not done any kind of surveying on this. Uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna motor up the uh, up the mountainside quickly. Because if this, it, if this pays off, um, it's gonna make absolutely no money. Uh, but the the volume of trains that will be running along here will look quite splendid. And unlike the looper. Uh, where you don't really get to appreciate anything that's that's kind of been built there. Uh, this one should offer the kind of uh, spectacular view. That, no, no, you can't diss the looper. The looper's got the uh, the flyover bridge. All right, well, um, I don't know, we need to break the surface at some point. Is that even possible? There you go. There's an emergence. You know what? I don't. I don't mind that. That's kind of nice. Uh, right here we go. Onwards, onwards, onwards. And connect up. I don't think that's connected up. I think it's tried to create a third rail. Nope. There you go. No, that's definitely done it. There we go. All right. Wallop. Okay. Well, this is another glorious piece of bridge work. Uh, tunnel work. The uh, bridge goes up, tunnels go under. There you go. That's how you tell the difference. Uh, right, now then, where's my next bit of track? Back up to Kandersteg. We might have to rethink this glorious piece of bridge. Which I really don't want to do, because it is glorious. Right, there we are. We're, we've, we've turned up again. Now then. Hello, game. What are you going to make of this, I wonder? Actually, it is, this, looks, this looks like it's going to work like so and we've taken a bit of a turn there but it's uh, but that's that's worked that's uh, that's quite nice well stone the crows lo and behold we've uh, we've come up with something that is that is not only uh, working but uh, but really quite attractive uh, and what we'll probably have to do is uh, take a bulldozer and the smoothing tool to this bit of the tunnel to, to hollow out enough to put a station in there. If we're going to come this close to a, a town centre, we might as well uh, hook it up. You've built the wrong sort of bridge there, Chief. That's You've built slow, slow bridge. You, you're going to need something a bit more swifty than that. Which means you need to get rid of that bit as well. Don't worry, you've, you've done the heavy lifting. This is... Uh, That's it. There you go. Right. Because, you know, you might as well... I'm going to use a different type of bridge. There we go. Uh, we'll go with uh, the nice uh, the nice steel girder kind of deal. As much as most of this is steel, uh, you know what I mean. The box. There we go. The, the traditional. The traditional steel box girder bridge. Uh, right. And then back through the mountain. Out the other side. Another 16 million down the pan. Perfect. All right, good. Well, you know, that's uh, that's another bit of build done there. Except I've got to figure out how to squeak a station into this, uh, this tunnel. Well, I'm up for the, I'm up for the challenge. Uh, I think I'm going to regret this. Here we go. Right, okay, good. So far, perfect. Everything's going to plan. Uh, let's take take out a little bit more. Now, the challenge here is going to be, because this is sloping, so we're going to need the sloping station, which, as we all know, I'm, I'm not 100% familiar with the use of. We're going to need to take out quite a bit of the mountainside. Otherwise, we'll get uh, terrain alignment collision. Now, you've, you've deleted back quite a bit there, haven't you? Yes, you have. Uh, right, let's take that out as well. And then we'll try some general smoothery here. Right, there's a bit of general smoothery. That's it, that's it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That looks... 
like it's well it looks like it's not going to work but we're, we're here we are we're, we're bold we're trailblazers we're uh we're undaunted uh let's go no curvature uh 240 is what we said we're doing along the way here right then what uh, we don't want a second street connection because that will that that will just overcomplicate things all right, here we go. Can we fit this station into this gap here? While it's going downhill. It has to go downhill, otherwise we won't be able to connect up to the next bit. And it needs a bit of curve. All right, okay. Well, look, don't don't panic. We've, we've got all the time in the world to sort this out. Let's, uh, that's clearly sloping the wrong way. So if we slope it the right way... That's not bad. That's close. Uh, can you have a curved sloping state? No, you cannot have a curved sloping. Oh, dear. This is going to lead to more drama. But it's not far off. So we've got, the, we've got the slope about right. We just need to... Which is the bit of terrain it's having the most difficulty with? I suspect it's a bit where it's carving out the mountain. All right. Let's uh, well, let's uh, let's assist on that front then. Let's... All right. Try that on. Now we can also pull it a little bit further forward if it's the if it's the bridge end of things it's having trouble with. Maybe if I give it a little bit of run on track. There we go. Three hundred. Largely, if it's if it's doing three hundred coming off the end of a bit of track, it's pretty much straight. Yeah, pro tip there that I'm pretty sure you all knew already, which possibly makes it an amateur tip. Uh, unable to align terrain. We think it's going to be that bit there, isn't it? I mean, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, you possibly less so. All right. Well, let's let's keep chipping away at this bit over here. And what we'll do is, if I can get it in, I'll do the I'll do smoothing uh, retroactively to make this look a little bit more au naturel. The, I mean, the other possibility is that it's at the uh, at the connection side, and that's actually quite possible. So, uh, if we lift that there just a smidge, that will help, uh, and then keep chipping away at all of this lot. Right, see how you get on with that. Although saying that, you've uh, you've made this decidedly uneven. Let's do a bit of that. There you go. Right, come on. If this works, we'll declare victory and uh, and go and have some cookies. Because that's what victorious people do. Is they they go for cookies. Yeah, you see, I don't know if it's the lip underneath that connection point with the existing track, or if it is the uh, the mountain at the far end. I'm going to assume it's the mountain at the far end. It's what you'd expect, right? Go on, this time. Nope. All right, okay. So, other possibilities are... I, don't, I wish you could see what I'm pointing at, but uh, you can see it there. See see this white lump here, just as the, uh, the platform starts? That's one possibility. Uh, the second is that it's the bit underneath the terminal building itself, the, the station building itself. All right, well, let's uh, let's do one bit at a time here and, and see where it gets us. All right, try that. Unable to align terrain. Okay, well, if I flatten out this middle section, maybe that'll help. Arguably, you've done too much there. Smooth it. The smoother you make it, the more the game is likely to agree with you. That said, that means absolutely no. no whoa, whoa, whoa. We have, a, we have a winner. Take it. Right, there we go. Don't even think about it too much. Just take that sucker, and then we've got to worry about the next bit. Okay. But, you know, this isn't... Hey, this is going all right. Uh, it's, a, it's a long project. I'd intended to do something, you know, quick fire for today, but... Uh, uh, 
this is this has turned out to be just a just a touch longer than anticipated. All right, get rid of the existing tunnel because there's no way that will work now. We'll build a whole new tunnel. Back it all the way up, and we'll uh, we'll let the game figure out where it wants it. That should be far enough, I would have thought. Because also, there is the there is the likelihood we end up with too much slope. And oh yes, now it's not it's not the quickest of corners there. But actually, one seventy is all right. That's that's not so bad. Uh, have we gone outside to outside? Yeah, there we go. Outside to outside, working marvelously. And then we'll run this around alongside it. There we are. Right, okay. Now, this is going to wrap us up for today. I know I can hear you booing from where you are. Uh, but you've had quite enough uh, excitement. Um, and I desperately want to save the game. And, uh, and historically, I've figured out that actually showing you saving the game is really one of the most boring things you can do. And you go, well, why don't you just edit that bit out then? And you kind of go, well, I could. But the, the number of times that I forget to edit out bits that I intended to edit out uh, is quite high, and I can't trust myself to remember. So, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna take a pause in proceedings there, and we'll be back with the second part of this construction uh, in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, why not throw a throw a like at this one if you uh, if you endorse the uh, the reckless spending of of the funds that I have accumulated uh, at the uh, at the tail end of this series. Um, and I'll be back with you very soon with a little bit more of the same. Subscribe to ensure you don't miss it. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll catch up with you soon. Cheerio.